Hi, welcome to Azure Everyday with Pragmatic Works. My name is Steve Hughes. Glad to have you join us again today. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature that's been just uh, been GA'd inside of Azure uh, within the last few weeks. And this is one of those uh, tool sets I didn't even know was available. I was looking at another project and I was doing some other work and all of a sudden I realized that there is this new mapping tool available in Azure. I had no idea Azure had maps. And it's really interesting because um, if you do a lot of work with Power BI and some of the other tools that Microsoft's provided, we do a lot of work with Bing Maps and those APIs that are built in. But this is Azure Maps. So what makes it a little bit different? So let's talk about it. So you need, let's just say you need to include some mapping in your application. Azure Maps is a set, set of developer APIs that support geospatial functionality in your application. The Azure Maps includes service APIs for maps, for search, routing, traffic, and even time zones. So Azure Maps uses REST APIs and a JavaScript control that you can use for web, mobile, and other solutions. So this is a little bit different than the Power BI implementation of, of Bing Maps, which really uses the Bing Maps service. So let's look at some three key things around this and some of the things are what we need to be aware of. A wealth of services for the developers to use. There's, here's some, there's just a bunch of services that are available. We talked a little bit about them just a second ago. Let's walk through them. The render service allows developers to create applications around mapping. So you want to add maps to your application, use the render service. The route service can calculate the best route while accounting for types of transportation, traffic conditions, and route restrictions. So if you're building a routing application, I don't know, maybe you're going to build your own Uber. Um, and you're going to do something like that, you can actually use this route service to determine the best routes between two points and, and calculate with traffic conditions and transportation. Maybe you just want to have this information available in your application. You get the search service. This is the third one. It's just what it sounds like. You can search and return the results on a map. If you want to you know, incorporate a searching for your office locations or something else along that line, you can actually just put search in there and find the closest application and use Azure APIs and the maps related to that. The time zone service allows you to identify a time zone for a location. Pretty straightforward, but if you've ever done some time zone work, it's really nice to actually know which time zone they're in because it's not as straightforward as it sounds. Take a state for like Indiana, for instance, which just until recently didn't even have on or daylight savings time, always had split time zones based on the areas around Chicago versus the uh, southwest corner. And now you have, you know, in, in some in eastern, some in central, knowing the exact Latin long given position and the time zone. Good, good example for using that. The traffic service gives you the ability to create application required traffic flow or traffic instance on a map. You can actually show it. You can build your own traffic incident mapping. And this is a part of that service and the API that comes along with that. Azure Maps and Bing Maps are not the same. While both can be used to support mapping app and applications, they're entirely separate products and implementation uh, with no crossover. They're, they're not related at all. Azure Maps is good for development and supporting the dev lifecycle. So you really want to add it to your application. Azure Maps uses TomTom for its base map. Bing Maps uses here, H-E-R-E. -E. This is either two different options for mapping and solutions. And they will give you different types of functionality and features as you saw. Uh, one thing to be aware of though, some regions are currently not support the Azure Maps. So make sure you confirm the location of your IP addresses when you're using Azure Maps. <laughs> Some areas will not allow mapping at all. And so it's very important to cross-reference that with what you see online. I'm sure that changes over time, but some countries have no Azure map coverage state. So just check it out, see what you wanna do with it. Explore Azure maps for your solutions, geospatial needs. And if, you know, if you're interested in learning more about this or other Azure capabilities, click the link below for more information. We'd be happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.